Hey guys, um, I haven't made a video in a while, so I decided I should. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you a bunch of stuff about building in general, and, um, in building edit mode, being able to, um, creator badges, GUIs, um, starter pack, teams, just a bunch of stuff today. Something that'll definitely make your building knowledge better, and how to make your own place if you don't already know. So I have, right now I have my own designated area that everything, anything building in here will be on video and will be on YouTube, what you're watching right now. So, just click edit right now. First off, I had someone ask me about creator badges. So, I made um, a model of a crea the creator badge script that I use. Now, first what you want to do is get your badge all ready. Um, this is the badge that I put, my pre-made badge that I've had for a while from like, I think this is my second map. I haven't deleted the badges because I thought, hey, it's nothing bad. Um, worth, uh, keeping. Anyways, um, so once you have your badge, you, um, I have, uh, all the links to, in the description of the models that I use will be in the description. So, um, I have my met creation, creator, whoops, creator badge script. What you want to do is just open it. And then just uh, read everything it says in here. So first, like say, if my name was Telemon, badge ID. To find the badge ID, you want to find the badge that you want it to work. It's not that one. It's this one. So you just open it up, open the head, and then the badge ID is right here. Just copy it. Make a copy. And then just open the script back up again, and then paste it into there. Um, change your name, change this to Telemon, change this to Remember, all of this stuff is, um, case sensitive. So say, like, if I put in Telemon with a lowercase t, it wouldn't work. Like this, if I put that in there, the script wouldn't work. You have to have a capital T because it's case sensitive. Okay, um, and then after that, you want to make sure, um, you, badges don't work if the decal is off of them, so you got to keep that on there. So especially for creator badges, you want to hide it in a spot, like, where nobody can ever get to no matter what. So then it helps to, um, make it transparent. So, oops, wrong one. Let's take it and hide it maybe under the map. Where nobody will be able to see it. Okay, now that that's done, badge, um, visiting badges, badges just for visiting. Um, need to make maybe your own, um, make us get a spawn from the game objects. And I'm just gonna make have this red spawn here. And because it's so close to the edge, I would recommend putting the spawn away from the edge. Unless you have walls, and then what most some people do is they put the badge right next to the spawn, so people can get it if they want it or not. And others put it on top of the spawn. Um, some people go like this and make it transparent so you can't even see it. Um, so I'm just gonna put it right next to the spawn. Okay, next after we got that done. Um. For, that's, I guess we can do teams now. If um, there's not already a team inside of here with a plus right here, just click that, go up to here, hit insert, object, and then um, team. Now, for certain teams, you want to be able to match the brick color. So for the spawn, team color and brick color, the brick color doesn't have to be the same as the team color, but um, I'm going to keep it like that. So let's say color red allow, allow team change on so like say if someone's on the green team and they touch the spawn they'll be on the red team so that could be good or bad for any of your maps neutral means that um it doesn't have a team at all and you spawn at that no matter and you spawn at that one and it doesn't count as a team or anything for it's like maybe for like choosing which side so say team color bright red um so once you get that done you can either you can delete the decal if you want. You don't have to have the decal. And you can like get your own decals. 
say actually let's do this. Really and that could be like your spawn location. Decal. You don't have to have a decal though. So once you get the color of the team on here, um, make sure you go to your team. Remember bright red. Auto assignable means you can, um, when you join the game, it automatically assigns you to the team and you spawn there. Um, so an auto color characters means that it changes their torso color to whatever color the team is. So make sure you change this to the color that you had in the spawn. So bright red. And then name is what the in the leaderboard on the top right. Team this name is what the team's name is gonna be. So let's just say um bright red team. Okay. But I'm actually not gonna make that, I'm just gonna put um game testers, I guess. Doesn't really matter, it just depends on what your map is for. Um sound Let's not do sound. Let's do starter pack now. Um, basically, starter pack is just for weapons um, and tools and all of that. So take whatever you get, whatever you tool race you want. I'm just gonna use a free model one from the tools and weapons. Um, I guess we could get chain gun. A uh, heat seeking rocket and a sword. Whoa. Okay. Now, once you have this, they should be in the workspace. All you want to do is just take and drag them over to starter pack. There you go. Chain gun, starter pack, and rocket, starter pack. And then, as you can see down in the left, it says starter pack. These items will be given to the each new player. So basically, um, everyone who joins will have these whatever's in the starter pack. I know there's um someone has a there is scripts out there where you can like each team has their own certain um, starter pack items for each different team. I know there's a script out there for that because I've actually used it before. Okay, so after we finish that, we have our starter GUI, and this is for all GUIs basically you have to put them in the starter GUI or unless there's like it's like a function on touch or click or something like that GUI so right now I have my own GUIs and okay this is supposed to go in here these are my GUIs that I always use for most of my maps and if you're, they're not in my map right any of my maps right now they probably will be um, there is a link in the description to take these, and all of the, all of them that you want to be in the starter pack, you just, um, put in here. And that crown, extra crown, okay. Okay, one second. I delete this extra. Okay. I should see them in the left corner. The left side, right here. Right, um, click this, this one is to walk, run, reset, flip board, or the vehicle, sit and stand. And these two, the fish and the crown, those, um, have a script that changes the color of the background. So it's basically like a color changing, like a dance floor or something. Um, start GUIs. Now, if you want to make your own sort of GUI, um, it is, all you have to do is go, one sec. Mouse isn't responding very well because I have a touchpad for my laptop. Just hit works or um. Oh my god. Okay. You hit workspace and you hit insert object. Wait. No, it's not insert object. It's insert um service. Yeah, it is object. Okay, where is it? Screen GUI. Just want to hit screen GUI. And then make sure that's highlighted and hit insert object again. And then text box or text button. The button is for clicking and box is just to be there. 
So I'm just going to use the text box for now. And to see. Zero, zero. So I like to use the same size as all of my GUI. So my same size is. Wait. I'm just going to go through here and make sure I have the same right one. Okay, size. Nope, oh, that's a fish one. Here we go. Okay, so I'll go here, size, right there, and then the position, there's no position right now, but it will be in a second. Let's copy that, text box, and then copy the number first. And there's going to be a second one. Here, and then I'm gonna change this to like 50. And um, just make sure you drag it into a star GUI when, while you're in the middle of making it because it helps, um, it really does. Because, yeah, you can actually see um, how you're editing it and if it's working, especially. So, green GUI, make um, change it to like say. Um, info GUI. Okay, and text box for the um. What do you see here? Where it says text box right here. That's not the name. It's um the text. Say I wanted to say um anything. This map was made by Big Brain Thirty Four. So if you wanted to say that. Now as you can see in the top left it says um, it's too big but I'm going to actually change this to say um, you YouTube screen name and you guys would already know this but this is just for anybody visiting this place big YouTube brain oh and as you can see, it's still too long, so you just want to change the size of the um, X, the second value of X, and let's say I wanted to do it, see, 200. See, now that's almost good, so I'm going to change it to, like, 210, and it's there. And then we want to try and make the position. Position, the second one for Y is up and down, and the second one for X is side to side, left and right. So let's say 100, no, 1000, no, 100, okay. Um, I'm going to make this negative 10, negative 50, negative 100, too far, negative 75, 74, 70, oops. Okay, so try, we're trying to line it up right next to the exit. Now that you got that, um, you can change the color. First, start with the background color. I'm just gonna change it to yellow. Um, border color is what you can see around it. I guess we can change this to a red. And background transparency. You can change it to stuff like that. So change color, but it doesn't look yellow doesn't look good transparent. Um, go down here in the text color. Um, let's change it to dark green. Can't really tell the difference, but it says it up there. And after you've made your own GUI, you can um, script it to if you know how to script, you can script it up for like click how to click and everything. I might make a video for that just like scripting GUIs and crap stuff um lighting most people